In iOS 16, Apple overhauled the lock screen. As a result, you can customize to your heart's content. Choose widgets, colors, fonts, emojis, photos, and built-in wallpapers for a unique look. This video walks you through the lock screen setup in iOS 16 so that your lock screen looks amazing. Hey everyone, welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, give it a like below and check out the description for a downloadable resource guide on lock screens. Let's get started. If you're familiar with widgets and editing the home screen, the lock screen won't be much difference. To get to the controls, unlock your iPhone with Face ID or Touch ID, and then swipe down from the top middle portion of your device to access the lock screen. Push and hold on the display to access the lock screen customization area. On the bottom, you'll see an opportunity to customize or a plus sign to create a new lock screen. You can also swipe through your current lock screens if you've created some. And when you're finished, just tap on the screen that you want to become the lock screen and then swipe up to access your home screen. Tapping the plus button creates a new lock screen. At the top, you'll see categories that you can choose from. And if you scroll through, you'll see featured uh, lock screens, which Apple has created, and then suggested photos. And if you continue to scroll through, you'll see the many options that are available to you. Let's look at a few options and then you can customize your own. I'm going to tap on photos in the upper left corner and this brings me into uh, the photos library where I can choose one photo to become the photo of my lock screen. Choose photo shuffle if you want to use multiple images throughout the day as your lock screen. And here you can see you have the option to choose people, pets, nature, cities, whatever is in your photo library, you'll have that option. You can actually choose the individual people that you want to show up. And then you have the option to choose a frequency. You can see these photos hourly so that the lock screen would change every hour daily, on lock, or on tap. You can even uncheck categories if you'd like, and then you would just see nature and cities. With the emoji option, you have the opportunity to choose up to six different emojis. I'm just going to select a few. And as you can see, I'm going to tap the X in the upper right corner to close that out and come into the screen. Down below here, you'll see the option that you can choose these uh, to show up as a small grid, medium grid, large grid, rings, or spirals. You can even by tapping on this uh, the more icon or the circle with three dots, you can also change the background color. So here you have some preset background colors. You can tap on this little uh, icon in the upper left corner and you'll come into uh, more colors to choose from. And then you can select the color that you'd like, tap on that, tap on the X to close that out. Down below, you see a slider option that will change the opacity of the background so you can make it darker or lighter. Choosing the weather lock screen, it'll show you the current weather in your area. It also shows you live weather, so if it's raining, you'll see it raining on the screen as you can see here. And if you aren't seeing animation, it may be due to the fact that your iPhone is too old for animation, but there's no other adjustments that you can make to the weather screen. So just know that if you choose the weather screen, what you see is what you get. 
Choosing a color wallpaper allows you to select a plain color for your background, although you'll see that there's a bit of a gradient here, which it may, you know makes it look nice. And again, you can tap on this color icon in the upper left corner and come in and take a look at other colors that you might want to choose uh, to use. You can also uh, change the opacity by sliding the slider to the left or to the right. Once you've selected your color, go ahead and tap on the X and come out and you'll see along the bottom you have some options that if you swipe to the right, you'll see that you can use a solid color, bright color, vapor, deep, tone, and vibrant colors. On any photo background, you have the option to change the color of the tint. So along the bottom, you'll see natural. If I swipe black and white, swipe again, duo tone, one more time, color wash. If I tap on the more icon, you also have some other options depending on what tint you're in. So right now you'll see depth effect is checked off. If I uncheck that, you'll see that the box around the widget becomes more prominent. And I'll show you that again in another photo uh, where you'll be able to see this a little bit better, the depth effect. I'm gonna tap on the more icon one more time and you can come into the style uh, color and you can see if I tap on any one of these, it kind of changes the tint color of the photo. So that's uh, tints and styles on a photo background. In, in addition, images with people can use studio lighting. So right now you see natural is highlighted. If I just swipe over, you'll see studio highlighting, which really uh, emphasizes the uh, person in the photo and kind of brings everything else uh, to the background. And now if I tap on that more icon, I just wanted to show you the depth effect of this. So right now you're seeing depth effect and high key. If I take depth effect away, you'll see that uh, the widget boxes show up a little more clearly. If I add it back in and I choose low key, it changes the look of the background so that the person in the photo is more highlighted. Now let's talk about time customization and widgets, which are what's really unique about the lock screen in iOS 16. So if I tap into the clock area here, you'll see that I have uh, some choices for the font of the clock and the color. So I'm gonna just tap on another option and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the right and I'm going to choose the color uh, icon and choose, I'm going to hope, which will be a, a brighter color uh, that you can see. I'm going to tap the X. And so I have that up as high as I can get it. And I'm going to leave that the way it is. And I'm going to tap the X so that I'm done changing the clock. Now, the widgets, you have two areas, one below the clock and a place above the clock for widgets. So I'm gonna tap in above the clock and Apple gives you some suggestions. Only one small widget is gonna be able to fit in that area. And so for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the dial and you'll see that it appears uh, next to the date in that widget. I'm gonna tap on the X and now I'll tap into the widget box below the clock. Here you can add anywhere from one to four widgets. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the weather widget and I'm gonna choose uh, my fitness widget. I could probably get one more small widget in there, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna tap on the X. And so now you can see that I've added a widget above the clock and a couple of more widgets below the clock. Apple has introduced a new type of notification called live activities. These live activities can be tracked right from your lock screen 
doing things like tracking the progress of food delivery, an Uber ride, or sports games. For this particular example, I downloaded a sports app called Sports Alert, and I'm only using uh, the free part of the app. I didn't make any purchases, so if you want to try it out, you can. So what I'm going to do is, I'm this is the Sports Alert app. I'm going to tap to open it, and you have to follow a game, and the game you cannot click on live activities, I believe, uh, greater than three hours before the game starts. So I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm going to follow the Toronto-Pittsburgh hockey game. So I need to push and hold on the game. And a pop-up will appear down below that says start live activity. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And now when I swipe out of that and you can see I have an iPhone Pro 14 and the dynamic island at the top shows uh, the maple leafs and the penguins logo telling me that I am following this game. But if you don't have the dynamic island, if you just swipe down from the top middle portion of your screen to access the lock screen, you'll see the alert down below. And this will follow this game while it's live and update you uh, as the game goes on. If you want more information, just tap on the alert and it'll take you right into the game settings. So that's live activities in iOS 16. Once you've customized the lock screen to your liking, you'll tap on add in the upper right corner and you'll be given the option to set this as a wallpaper pair, or you can actually come in and customize the home screen. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and say set as wallpaper pair. And so that means the lock screen and the home screen are going to have that same background color. You can also have a focus associated with a lock screen. So if I tap on focus and then I choose one of the focuses here and I'll just go ahead and choose personal and tap on the X in the upper right hand corner. Anytime that I choose this particular lock screen, it's going to automatically trigger that focus mode. So once I tap on that, the personal focus, as you can see below, has been triggered. Now I can turn it off anytime I want by tapping on it and turning it off by touching the little icon on the left hand side. Just tap on that and now that focus will be turned off. But you can associate any lock screen with a focus. To delete a lock screen is very simple, and just like watch faces, you can have multiple lock screens, as many as you want, but to delete one, come into the, to the uh, lock screen area, and then pull up on um, the lock screen you want to delete, tap on the trash can, and then tap on delete this wallpaper. Another way to access the wallpaper and lock screen customization is to come into the settings app, scroll down until you see wallpaper, tap on that, and then you will see your current lock screen. You can also scroll through to access your other uh, lock screen and wallpaper, or you can go ahead and choose to add a new one. Wow. That's a lot of information, but once you start customizing your lock screen, you'll get the hang of it. You can always change it or delete the lock screens at any time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.